Muchas dias, mis amigos under God. Today we're going to be going on an exciting adventure, uh, one that you will not have expected due to my uh, increasingly devious and, and depthuous look at the modern fantasy. Instead of uh, reviewing fantasy, we're going to be out doing some incredible uh, trips. We're out of here at our first stop, Chick fil A. I've never been here before, but I guess this is what Neil Gaiman tastes like. Good morning, Middle America. We're back up. Um, I, I, I realized now that I forgot to tell you guys anything about what's going on, but I'm sure you've already guessed, so there's no need for that. I'm going to an evening with Neil Gaiman in uh, Schenectady, New York, which is the closest place to me since I live in Canada. Um, and so it's been one, one huge, huge road. But, um, you know, it's gonna be this evening, and today's the day, so I'm quite excited for it. Hopefully I can see him in person, and, uh, maybe uh, grab a signed book by him. Whatever, whatever I can do, I'm not sure what to expect. It's also my first time in, in America since I, I gained cognizance, um, which would be, uh, you know, the first time in America in a couple of years, so it's, it's been pretty nice for that too. It's a huge culture shock, even though you think it wouldn't be. Um, it definitely is weird. Here I am in uh, Washington Park in Albany, and uh, it's uh, three hours before uh, the signing, and I'm just hanging around. Uh, it looks beautiful. Mi amigos, we are here in the middle of literally nowhere. But we've made it. The woman on the till was new to her. Stuff like that. And what I did was I hired my son's former nanny. Uh, Justine, who's French. And I said to her, Justine, are you doing anything for the next couple of months? She said, no. I said, would you like to sort of, can I just pay you basically to... And this is my first bite ever of Chick-fil-A. Mm -mm -mm. My mouth is watering on, on fire. Mm. This is my favorite sandwich. I can't believe it's this good. Wow, so this is the taste of America. Fantastic. Well, anyway, that ends uh, this video of Neil Gaiman, an evening with Neil Gaiman. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to rate it like a, maybe three out of five. Um, it was a lot of fun. Neil Gaiman talks really slowly. But he's very interesting and soothing to listen to, if you like that kind of thing. Uh, I thought I wasn't going to sell any, like, signed books. Um, it turns out he signed a bunch of them before, um, and you're supposed to pre-order them, but I couldn't figure out how. And I really tried. Trust me when I say I tried. I could not figure out how to pre-order them. 
And so I didn't. And I showed up hoping, praying, praying that he would sell sign books. And um, there was no sign uh, or anything. Um, people just lined up. We didn't know what we were lining up for, but we knew we should line up. And we all lined up and uh, we got to the front and I cut in line and I got a, a bunch of books um, that are signed. And I will show you them later. But I mean, for that, for that on its own, it was, it was pretty worth it. I got signed books from Neil Gaiman. Um, it was quite an adventure, um, quite the long ride. The price was worth it. The drive was not. And quite frankly, all things considered, I really enjoyed just being in Albany and checking out New York uh, with my dad more than, more than I enjoyed the event. The event was fun, but uh, just the exploration of the city was equally, if not more fun, um, just in general. Yeah, so... Uh, if you're thinking of going to an evening with Neil Gaiman, consider uh, seeing if he's in your local area. I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider driving more than two hours for such a such an event. It is not that good. Uh, plus, I got stuck in the back and stuff. But it was super fun. And uh, but you know, once once is enough for me. Okay, bye.